you know, it's like when you bring home a new puppy from the shelter and, it, and the puppy is like peeing all over the place and pooping all over the place and you're trying to tame it and teach it. I feel like that's what I'm doing with this bike. It's peeing all over me. Owning this bike hasn't been smooth. It hasn't been smooth sailing as, I've, as I thought it was gonna be. Y'all ready? Let's go. What's up YouTube? Thanks for checking back into the channel. My name is Jason, as always. Go ahead and click that subscribe button. Click that like button for me. I would much appreciate that. We're trying to grow as a channel. Every little bit helps. With all that out of the way, let's get into the topic of today's video. Today I'm just gonna tell you guys a story of what happened with my Lowrider S. So I got this 2020 Lowrider S used with 250 miles when I got the bike. A lot of modifications were already done to this bike. You never really know how things have been installed, was it a good job, etc. But something actually broke off on my bike. So I'll pull off somewhere so we can talk about it and you guys can see, throw up some pictures, but it's been, it's been fixed. So it's good to go for now, but it really kind of sucked having to deal with all those kind of things all those issues when the bike was brand new to me. A few weeks ago, I decided to go for a ride. I had some time to kill. Took the highway for about 20 minutes and got off the highway to get some gas for the bike. Uh, as I pulled off the highway, pulled into the gas station, hopped off the bike, turned around to put some gas in, and lo and behold, my whole tail light and the bracket had fallen off from the rear fender. And from what I could see, there was like a huge gaping hole in the fender where that the rear tail light and the bracket kind of goes in. My goodness, I was shocked. I was shocked. How could this happen? It's a bike with 250 miles. I mean, at that point, maybe it had about 800 or so. For the most part, a brand new bike. You know, my biggest fear with this Lowrider S is that it's a 2020 model. So usually first year production bike, there's always some glitches. There's always a few things. And so it worries me to some extent. So yeah, I, I hopped off the bike and I saw that the tail light had just completely fallen off. I don't know how long I've been riding with that tail light just completely off the fender. It happened at some point on the highway. So I hopped into the gas station, got, to, got a screwdriver and I was able to luckily take the tail light off of the bracket, remove the bracket. And so I dumped that into my saddlebag and just rode home. I mean, I was 20 minutes into my ride. I was gonna go for like two to three hours. I was just so bummed out and like stressed about it that I decided to just call it quits and go home. Luckily, nobody hit me because that's my, uh, that's my brake light. And so I had no brake light on the way home. You know, I took it slow, I took it easy, went home. After I had a chance to assess the damage, I said, ooh, assess the bike. I decided to hop on to the Facebook group for the Lowrider S's. And I just threw it out there like, hey, something just happened to me today. My tail light completely broke off. Has this happened to any of you guys? And what, what did you do about it? The first response was like, yo, don't stress about it, man. It's, it's covered by warranty. It should be covered by warranty. I'll pull over here and we can take a look. And I also need to stop in for some cough drops because your boy's been feeling a little under the weather lately. It's not COVID though. This is a terrible parking job, by the way. I'm only in there for a second anyways. Yeah, I was gonna raise hell and just tell them like, yo, you need to replace the whole fender because I don't know if you can see this. When the light was dangling off, it scratched the fender. And so I was gonna raise some hell at the dealership. And then another guy messaged me and said, uh, sorry to break it to you, but if anything has been modified, they're not gonna fix it for you. I was like, hold up, what are you talking about modified? But I had the, the stock tail light. I was like, what's been modified? I did a double take on the pictures and apparently this housing had been not modified, but it, it's been changed out to a Moons MC tail light housing, which unfortunately is not compatible with the Softail Lowrider S. So that threw my plan out the window. I already knew that Harley was going to bail on me because, you know, it's not the stock tail light or it's not the stock tail light housing. So I started thinking about what else can I do? I asked for some advice from the Facebook group. A, a couple people mentioned that they just took a nail and put a washer behind the fender. You know, that kind of did it for them. To me, that didn't seem like a permanent solution. That didn't seem like a very solid solution. I did some research and I found a welder and I reached out to them and I said, hey, I have like a small issue on my bike. And I called three welders and all of them hung up on me. The fourth one that I tried was cool enough that he said, hey, just swing by my shop and I'll take care of it for you. You know, went to his shop and within 20, 25 minutes, they welded that little metal tab back onto where the fender hole is. So with that, I was able to screw the housing back onto the fender. And then additionally, 
I drilled another hole. You can't see it because it's behind this tail light. I drilled another hole here into the fender, put another washer behind here. So it's just so that it's more stable and it has two touch points. Moon's MC tail light housing. It's not meant for the Softail Lowrider S. And what was happening was that it just vibrated so much. And because there's not a flush contact with the, with the fender, it just vibrated off the tab. I still think that it's a very poor design. The whole tail light from the Harley, from the Softail Lowrider S, is basically hanging on from that one uh, touch point. I think it's a bad design, but either way, I was able to get that fixed. I swapped out the stock tail light with this tail light because the stock tail light is just huge, clunky, anyways, and it's also heavy. I, I wanted to change it out with the Moon's MC just because it's slimmer, it's also lighter, so less chance of it kind of falling off. But the end result is, you know, it, it had this huge scratch from dangling on the highway. I was able to buff some of it out, but what a tragedy! What a tragedy. Luckily, it's just on the back of the fender where not a lot of people can see, but still a bummer nonetheless. So I was dealing with that issue and I couldn't ride because I didn't have a tail light. As you saw in my previous video, I had this, um, I had a spark plug issue. So I got all my spark plugs replaced. I just felt like this, this bike has been not bad luck, but it's been, it's been troublesome. I think all the issues are pretty much squared away, but I'm going to hop in to Walgreens, pick up a few things. These cereal Kit Kat bars. My daughter is in love with them right now, so I picked up a couple, put this in here. You know, it's like when you bring home a new puppy from the shelter, it's like being broken in, and, it, and the puppy is like peeing all over the place and pooping all over the place, and you're trying to tame it and teach it. I feel like that's what I'm doing with this bike. It's peeing all over me. It's pretty sturdy. I don't think this is gonna give me any issues. Yeah, and I tried to buff this out. Let me know if, if there's something else I can do to buff this out some more. Owning this bike hasn't been smooth. It hasn't been smooth sailing as, I've, as I thought it was gonna be. With some of the issues that I've had on this bike, I still love this bike, man. I, I've said this on every video. I still have a lot of plans for this bike. I don't know how quickly I'll be able to get through those plans just because parts on these bikes are expensive, yo. The Iron 83, like you could buy stuff off of eBay for cheap. Not so much with this bike. That is like one of the biggest downsides about this bike is that there aren't a lot of aftermarket support out there right now in comparison with the Sportster. So everyone's bike ends up looking kind of the same. What is going on here? So the moral of the story is if you have a Lowrider S, a Softail Lowrider S, and if you want to black out the housing, at least don't get the Moon's MC version because it'll break off from your fender. I think the best route is probably paint it or even wrap it. So that's the moral of the story and always check to see compatibility. Guy who owned this bike before me never did that, never checked the fine print, put it on the fender and now I'm the one that has to deal with the mess. Thank goodness that issue is taken care of. Hopefully, hopefully there are no more issues on this bike, knock on wood knock on wood somewhere there's wood somewhere i'm gonna wrap it up right here guys thanks for tuning into the channel like i mentioned go ahead and subscribe i have a lot more content coming your way i'm gonna skate out of here hope you enjoy the video until next time ride safe and peace out man i love this bike i love this bike you guys all need a lowrider s in your life for real